Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila and in today's video you'll learn how to upload or link a PDF file to WordPress. Now if you've ever uploaded an image to WordPress then doing the same thing for a PDF file is equally simple. So let me show you how you can do that. The first thing you have to do is locate the PDF file and make sure it's not very large in file size. In my case, I have uh, just a demo file prepared here, and that is 11.4 kilobytes. So it's a very tiny file. Now, I would also recommend that you check the file name, and ideally you should use lowercase letters and numbers, but you should avoid spaces or unusual characters if possible. And also when you're exporting your PDF file, again, ideally, the file should be optimized for web use as opposed to print. That's gonna allow users to load that PDF file much faster. All right, so now that you have your PDF file prepared, the next step is to go to the WordPress backend or admin interface. You're gonna to go to Media, Library, and you're gonna hit Add New. Here, you can select the files from uh, the computer or you can simply drag and drop them like so. And now, Demo PDF has been uploaded. You can click on it and you can see various information about the file. You can give it a title, a caption, a description, but probably the most important part in this page is this one right here where it says copy link. This is a direct link to the file. So go ahead and copy that and now you can close this window. Now, how do we link to this PDF file? Well, very, very simply. Let's say that we wanna link to it from this post. Hello world, this is a simple post, right? So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna go right here, we're gonna enter our link text, and then we're gonna select that text, and we're gonna click this little link icon, or press Control K. So do that. Next, we're gonna paste in the link that we copied previously, hit Enter, and if, if we want, we can set uh, the option to open this link in a new tab. So let's do that. Once we're done, let's hit update. And now going back to the front end, we can see our link. And when we click it, it's going to open up our PDF file in a new window. How simple is that? Now, you're not limited to just using text links. You can also link to a PDF from an image or a button. So let me show you how you can link to it from an image. So let's add a new block. Let's select image and let's choose an image from the media library. This is an image that I got from Unsplash. You can uh, actually see the description right here. So let's go ahead and select that. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna select the image, we're gonna insert link, and we're gonna paste that link and press enter. And then we can click on this little uh, link settings and we can specify some additional properties or open in a new tab. So let's hit update. And now we're gonna refresh and you'll see that when we click on this link, Again, the PDF file will be opened in a new tab. Now, just in case you're using an older version of WordPress that doesn't have this editor, so this is Gutenberg, but if you're using an older version of WordPress and your editor doesn't look anything like this, you can do exactly the same thing. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna activate a plugin called Classic Editor to be able to demonstrate this. And then I'll go to Pages. Let's open up this sample page. And by the way, 
what I'm about to show you works on posts and on pages. It's exactly the same thing. So let's go ahead and create a link here. We're gonna select that text and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna click on this button that says insert edit link or control K. We're gonna paste in the link of that uh, PDF file, hit apply. And if we wanna open it in a new tab, we can hit on edit link options here we can see the url and the link text and we can check open link in the new tab so hit update update again here and now if we go to the sample page we have our link click and it opens the pdf file very very simple now before we wrap it up i want to show you a cool little trick as you saw, clicking the links we created opens the PDF file in a new tab in the browser. But what if you don't want that? What if you want to automatically download the PDF file? Well, normally you can right click the link and select save link as, and that's gonna download the PDF. But there's an option to do that automatically. So for that, we need access to the HTML of that link. So in the classic editor, simply switch to the text tab and then find the link. In my case, it's this one right here and simply add the download attribute. You don't have to specify any value to it, simply add the download attribute anywhere inside the main anchor tag. So now I'm going to hit update and I'm going to refresh this page. And you'll see that when I click this file now, it automatically downloads it to my computer. Pretty cool. If you're using Gutenberg, let me just switch back to it right now. Let's go to pages, sample, or let's actually go to posts and let's edit this link right here. Uh, to get access to the HTML from the Gutenberg editor, you can select more options here, edit as HTML, and then simply add the same download attribute to the anchor tag. So let's hit update. And if we go back to the main page, you'll see that when I now click this link, it downloads that PDF file, as opposed to clicking this image that opens the PDF file in a new tab. And that's how you can upload a PDF file to WordPress and also link to it. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.